folks today is a gordon ramsay cooking tutorial today we're going to be making gordon ramsay scrambled eggs i think they're called i borrowed my darling mother's phone so that i could follow a gordon ramsay tutorial while i'm actually recording so um yeah i did done took the liberty of already putting oil in the pan so let's just get started yeah. my perfect breakfast scrambled egg sauteed mushrooms and tomatoes the most important thing about any scrambled egg is stopping it from overcooking to serve with a scrambled egg, flat cap mushrooms. Just keep them whole. Just keep them whole. Um, it looks like they don't have the stems in them though. So I'm gonna take the stems out. They're super easy to take out. And then, so put them in the pan. Woo, that sounds good. His didn't sizzle. Oops, my egg almost died. He said put it on low. I don't think he turned it on yet. And I put mine on medium low just so it would heat up a little bit. So I mean, it's probably fine. Sorry, Gordon. Little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. Little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. Little bit of salt, little bit of pebble, yo. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, fancy salt. We got Himalayan pink salt. He did not use pink salt, but it was like big chunks of salt. Ooh, it's like popping. Ugh. Well, I turned it down to low, so, you know, should be fine, question mark. Vine tomatoes. Best way of roasting these is actually keeping them on the vine, in the pan with the mushrooms. I could not find the, t like, t <laughs> this is all I had, one little tiny tomato. So we're just gonna put that in there. Yeah. Nothing worse than going into a restaurant, having scrambled egg on toast and having soggy toast. He's got a nice rock of bread. I do not have a rock of bread, but I have bread that was in the freezer and was thawed outside in like 80 degree heat. Stop sizzling. I think, no, do you just use one? I think you just used one. Hold up. He burnt his, so we needed two, but I'm not going to burn mine. Into the toaster. My toaster's not in here, so I got to go over her for the toaster. And also I spilled water over here. So I might get electrocuted and die. And if they can make the perfect scrambled egg, you know they know how to cook properly. We got a pot. Don't season it, it breaks down the egg. Start off with three eggs. One egg, two egg. A little protein, man, that's what I'm saying. Onto the heat, never whisk the egg. Whisk it in the pan. Okay, onto the heat. I was supposed to turn it on. I completely forgot I'm like doing a video for you guys. And I'm supposed to like show you what I'm doing. Hold up, let me show you. <laughs> Vegetables, the one tomato and the two mushrooms, and then we got the eggs and the butter that um, I'm about to start like whisking with a spatula, I suppose, like stirring with a spatula. It's on like medium heat, and then this one's on low. Because when you start sort of whisking beforehand, you're breaking it all down. You've got to break it down in the pan. I love how the comments on his video are so funny. They're all about the rock hard bread. Take it off the heat, go back to the heat, take it off the heat. Okay, oh, wait, 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 it's starting to come together. So take it off the heat, off the heat. Okay, Gordon, what do I do? The heat is in there. Oh. Oh, how did he do that? I'm scared. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, Gordon, mine isn't cooked enough. Hold on. Half a tablespoon of creme fraiche. And instead of creme fraiche, I have um, Neufchaffel cheese, which is cream cheese. Creme fraiche makes it a lot easier than cream cheese. A little touch of chives in there. And what that does, it just lifts the whole flavor of the scrambled egg and just makes it a little bit more sexy. Sexy? I know, Gordon, you would be so disappointed, but either we don't have chives growing anymore or they're not currently in season, so I have dried chives. Look at them. Them's pretty good, even with dried chives. Like, all right, all right, I see you. And then these, like, do you see the liquid in there? I think I'm going to have to, like, drain the mushrooms before I put them on. <laughs> Whoops. It's plating time, boys. It is plating time. Fancy plate, fancy plate. You got our toast. It's not super warm anymore. Um, looks good though. Okay, so put that like that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna drizzle our sourdough bread with a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, I don't know how to drizzle a little with this container. Oh, oh, oh. It always does a yeah, lot. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Calm yourself, woman! Hey! And then just pour your scrambled eggs. And then put the eggs on, says Gordon. I don't have too much egg to put on the toast. There'll just be a heap, heap of time. Ooh. Yeah, I got a taste. Over. The sourdough bread. Um, and there you go, a perfect scrambled egg. All right, all right. You guys ready to see? It doesn't look as good as his, all right? It does not, but it's not bad. Ready? You guys ready? <gasps> oh, it would be a lot better if I had like more than one tomato. I've tried a little bit of the eggs. I mean, let me, let me see. Okay, that's good. It definitely would be better with fresh chives, but it's good. If I would have melted, if I would have actually used creme fraiche, it would have melted better, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I should get the room. I should get whoever I'm getting to eat it, their reaction, obviously. I unfortunately did not get somebody's reaction uh, to eating it at the end, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I guess. Um, and my mom did end up eating it. I just didn't get a reaction, but she said it was really good, so. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the flip side.